All right. Here we're actually going to be working on this uh, Porsche 1984 Carrera. 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 Yeah, John's working on the hood. And uh, so I'm going to give you different points of view uh, of what we're working with. Now this dent, it's about, let me just put it an inch. It goes from here to there, just about two inches. I'm probably going to use a tool, something like this. There's different terms for this one. This happens to be from Ultra, Big Bertha. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. You have this one, right, Big John? Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dent Gear. Dent Gear had something like this, uh, and Dent Craft. Um, but all you need is something that's uh, really, really thick. Now, this, uh, this tip is pretty forgiving. I'll, I'll switch a little bit closer. This is the, some of the tools that we use to do these type of repairs. So I want to make contact with this tip right here. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. I just like to just make sure this. So you can see what I'm doing here. Santa, Santa brought me some new camera gear. I got some more coming too. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work out just fine. I'll make sure. Yeah, go ahead, all right, thank you. Appreciate you. John's like, hey, I'm not going to go tap and smash until, this won't take me that long, John. Yeah. So as you guys can see that I'm actually just working from this corner, this edge and that edge. So we have to be very careful on a vehicle like this. Let me get a little, let me get more comfortable here. I like to really warm that paint up because it's kind of delicate. Now you could use constant heat like a heat gun, but um, yeah, perfect. I just I just prefer this way for now from in this situation. If I'm doing a motorcycle tank, I need constant heat, and I need heaviness, right? So if you look through this one right here. You see how I'm holding this tool? I'm actually leveraging off of the tire right here. So that's giving me my leverage right here that you can really can't see, All right? And I got a good amount of tool hanging over the leverage point, which is the shaft. So that gives me that. A good point right there, point of view. I don't want to over push if I don't have to. I just push just enough. This is why we are really careful of your vehicle. When we work, those dents out. If you look, it's like it's looking smaller than the one on the left, right? But it's not as it's it's still sharper, it's deeper. So we have to be uh, a little bit more cautious. I might have to tap down a little bit. So I'm gonna press harder. Looks like this one I will have to over push. Don't forget, don't, I'm not trying to discourage you from commenting. If you're, if you wanna comment, please do, please, if you have an asked question, I will try to read those questions later on. I just won't be able to do it live at this at this point, okay? It's not pre-recorded, I'm just, I won't be able to read the comments. I just don't have the uh, another window open to read them. I'm gonna tap down just a little bit. I'm gonna move my board so I can get a different angle. All right, oh yeah, so you can see it's a little bit more tight in there.
Okay, now we got a little bit more, more shallow. I kind of want it to look like this one. <clears throat> if you're wondering what this dent cost, just this one itself, uh, you're looking at two hundred ten dollars. This one would be one seventy five. But since there's two of them, I kind of give a break for this one. So in all in all, it's three hundred ten dollars. <coughs> so for these two. In case you want to know. Now, what would a paint job cost and the time it would take to do this whole panel, right? And lose the factory finish, which this gentleman doesn't want to do. That's the whole point. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't mean to. Uh, in case you're wondering why these reflection here, the lines help me see the curvature of the damage, it gives me a, a really good map about where to push. I'm actually going to go for this little one right here because it kind of, it's kind of distracting my concentration. So we'll just make this one nice and sorry for the movement here. I'm really close to this camera. All right, we're, it's a little light one down here. Excuse me. I think we got it pretty good. So as you guys can tell, I'm making contact with this, right? And I'm pushing like that, right? Just like that. Move my board back just a tiny bit so I can get some more detail in that thing. Super careful. Make sure I don't slip. Time to open that back up. Heck yeah. So I'm going to stick it out. I just don't want to take a lot of time looking for a tool that I don't quite know where it's at right now. I'm going to over push it, get a little more aggressive on this tool, this, this dent. That's the process of this. Now, some of you may think, well, that looks pretty easy. Just put a light on there and grab a tool and hope for the best. Not quite. It's a little bit more intricate than that. I think the hardest thing, especially when I teach people, is helping them understand to use the reflection, make sure they're seeing the tool tip correctly without poking it, because it's very easy to poke it where you think a tool's at and it's not. You know, and a lot of people want to see the back of the tool, but that doesn't do any good because the whole, one of the art forms about this is reading the reflection telling you where your tool's at. I think uh, one of the biggest also challenges for any beginner is they're afraid to open it up, right? Because they think they're going to go backwards. They think that's making it worse. When actually that's the secret. Now I'd probably be a little bit more quicker and accurate if I had a sharper tip. I'm really only 
concerned with the paint, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not, I don't care about the metal. The metal will flex back and forth as much as I want, but not the paint. Paint only wants to stretch so much. So heat helps it really keep that flexibility in there. Otherwise, it's gonna be a crack, crack central. So you can see I overextended it. This is the process of how we fix your dent on deeper dents. You know, not every dent is the same. Depth, location, access. So depth of how deep it is means how careful we got to bring it back, the, the, the shape of the, panel, of the panel back, along with not disturbing the paint. Access, how hard is it to get to the dent? Meaning if there's any access or blocking, is it open or blocked? And then location. So is it across any body lines, edges, curves? Those are actually as well harder to uh, recreate. Almost done, Big John. So that was a little crease there. That's what's. That's why it took a little bit harder to, uh, to try to remove. This is why it's not a wham bam thank you ma'am type of repair here. Cool, good deal. You see that pinch, the over push? There's no marking in the paint, right? Keeping everything clean. Here at Dent Time, we really, really put a lot of care into your, uh, your vehicle. And it's really hard to concentrate do a good job and, and, and do a live video at the same time. So if this goes on YouTube, it'll be pre-recorded, obviously, because this is, uh, this is on, on my Facebook. So if you are happen to watch on YouTube and you see this video, don't forget to go over to Face time, FaceTime, Facebook, or what do they call it now? Meta now, John? Some people hate Meta or Facebook. I don't blame you guys, but there's still a lot of people who go on there. Especially on that page. Okay, so now I'm just about done. I think I got it to where I want it to go. You saw in real time how long this takes. Okay, now generally it doesn't take that long. John, when someone asks you how long does it take, how, that only took you five minutes. What's your answer, dude? Um, it took almost 15 years of time. Worth of experience, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a way harder than, than you can imagine if you're watching this. Way, way harder. Okay, I'm going to move my camera back like this so you guys can see. Uh, uh, my point of view, I want to see across that dent a little bit. So it's just maybe a hair a little bit low here. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. How about them Cowboys? If you like football, they barely won. My Chargers won. They're in the playoffs. Playoffs? What playoffs? So that's it. Usually I don't sit on my butt that much, but 
My name is Mike Toledo. Let me know what you guys thought about this little process that we did on this 84 Porsche. We got a, there's a lot of little waves on the hood that we're fixing right now and a couple small more dings around the car that we still got to fix. But that's the process of what we do. Heat, tools, reflection, being careful, lots of patience, and most of all, experience. My name is Mike Toledo. You can contact us on our website, dentime.com, or you can go ahead and simply text us 858-943-9676. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.